Tom, can you react to who I smoke? We need this. What's going on y'all? Attorney Tom here. In today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the song Who I Smoke by Spinna Benz, Wapa De Choppa, Younging Ace, and Fast Money Goon. Before I begin, this video has CLR Bruce Rivers written all over it. I wonder if he's made a video about this song. Sure enough, Bruce Rivers has made a video about this song. Well, Bruce, I'm going to be doing the same thing. If you don't like it, sue me. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Bruce, I sent you a DM on Instagram. Check it out. I would love to connect with you, man. All right, let's jump into the video. Oof. Oof. First of all, look at that grip. Terrible golf grip. Disgusting! I don't know if y'all know this, but I am a big golfer. Maybe you could tell by the shirts I always wear. I won a state championship in high school, tried to play in college. I've played in some very big tournaments in my career, and my biggest golf flex is I have played Augusta National. Now, with that said, this grip is terrible look knowledge hammer here you don't want to do the 10 finger grip okay that's that's really bad that's how you swing a baseball bat if you're going to be playing golf you either do the overlay or interlock overlay or interlock you don't you don't do you don't hold it like a baseball bat it's not good moving on I would love to play golf with these guys. When pass me by. <laughs> But the first thing right off the back, and I'm only saying this because I want these guys to make money, is I hope that this song is licensed. This is A Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlton. Look, right there. A Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlton. They need to license this song, even if they're just sampling it. The first 30 seconds or so of the song was just the straight song from Vanessa Carlton. So there's definitely some fair use factors but if you license it it's not a big deal because you license the song the last thing I want to have happen is these guys not license the song they get sued or the entire song gets claimed and they don't make any money because I mean certainly if you have 33 million YouTube views you probably have tens of millions of views on other platforms as well people hate on lawyers but a lawyer's job your lawyer's job is to get you paid so we just Aww. we just want to protect Okay, so about six, seven, eight months ago, I did some videos about this, specifically about what evidence gets into trial if there is a song that relates to a crime committed. Obviously, there's some First Amendment issues. There's artistic expression. But essentially, a court is going to look at a variety of factors. A good rule of thumb is if you keep it general and just say vague things like yeah i'm tough i'll shoot whoever gets in my way that's probably more artistic expression but if you start naming names times places specific activities that corroborate with evidence in a current case i shot him nine times 9 p.m on the dime and by the way it was november night well then you might start getting into trouble but right here i think it's more or less just artistic expression, at least as of now. Smoking on love, Peter, I was smoking trade D2. Free my max to they motherfucking free you. Knock a out, boy, you could get your ass D2. Little ho, you tripping, baby girl, I don't need you. You could walk a thousand miles and I still don't want to see you. I got the whole city scared, you know what we do. Ooh, I smoke, baby. Ooh, I smoke, Dinky. Ooh, I smoke, Lanai. And now I want. 
Okay, I I spoke too soon. <laughs> right here, I think it's more or less just artistic expression. Um, okay. Let's listen to that again. I smoke, baby, who I smoke, Tiki, who I smoke, Lana, Lana. Okay. Bibby, Techie, and Lil Nine. I'm going to do a quick Google search to see if these individuals are alive. Who is Bibby, Techie, and Lil Nine? According to this article, the names of the rappers mentioned, most notably Bibby, Techie, and Lil Nine, were all Jacksonville rappers and gang members who had been shot and killed. The song is borderline incriminating as the four rappers featured on the song all but admit to their involvement in the murder. Okay. All right. Um, so, okay. So remember what I was just saying about a minute ago where they look past artistic expression if evidence or lyrics in a song corroborate a crime well um ah knowledge hammer knowledge hammer with the golf grip what do I always say on this channel? Do not commit crimes. But if you're going to commit crimes, do not post about them on social media. <laughs> Let's see how this plays out. Maybe, maybe something changes. Okay, notice how this gentleman has the toy gun in the video. This is a great example of artistic expression because nobody could presume that is a real gun. You're not flexing a real gun that could have been used in the murder. This is good. This is safe, fun, artistic expression. No worries there. Just avoid naming three people who may have been shot and implicating yourself in the actions. Three let all run till you die. Jump out that shit with sweet till we find out the drop. I like what I'm more working than boy clock the mind. Hold up. Who I smoke? Baby. Who I smoke? Tinky. Who I smoke? La nine. Now I wonder. Okay, so that was the song, but remember y'all, I'm talking about what could potentially be admissible or inadmissible in court under the rules of evidence, but that is such a small sliver of what actually happens in building a case. So when you release a song like this, it gets out in the public, it goes viral, the detectives see it, Maybe this song doesn't give you probable cause to issue arrest warrants or search warrants or whatever, but it certainly creates reasonable suspicion where people then start digging into your personal life, which then could lead to probable cause, which then could get you arrested, which then could get you thrown in jail. So I know I always talk about the legal side of things, the rules of evidence, what would happen in a court of law, but there's so much that happens before then. So let's see if there's any updates on this case. Okay, so this song was posted in April. This is in July. Who I Smoke rapper Spinna Benz beaten and extorted in jail rivals post video on IG. Why? Stop posting stuff on social media. Everybody, both sides. First of all, you know, just stop fighting in general, but you know, you know what? You get the point. So I couldn't find any news articles that related the arrest to the shootings. 
So I don't know what is happening with that case. I know Spina Benz is in jail, or at least he was in jail, but it doesn't say what for. Okay, so I guess that's it for today's video. What did we learn today? How to hold a golf club. Either do the overlay or interlock. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much. I hope you had fun. This was certainly interesting. My goals always make content worthy of your time. We just passed 446,000 subscribers. I ask that you consider subscribing to this channel. We cover a lot of stuff. We have some fun. Thanks again. Talk to you soon. Bye. He's a catastrophic injury attorney who accidentally became a YouTuber. Attorney Tom.